Hello everybody, eFixer here. Welcome back to Night in the Woods. I want answers. I want answers. Because I have a feeling that we're very close to the end of the game. And I want answers. Cool, everybody wants to talk. Hey man, you okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we uh, were doing band practice though. I'll see you there. Oh, great. They're going to make me do that one last time, aren't they? Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really? You massive dork. Band practice today? Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Oh, wait, message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. Weather service, snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? <gasps> is it going to be the longest night? I am quite convinced that this game ends on longest night. <laughs> and that would be a big jump to go from where we were the previous day, which just seemed like a regular fall day with leaves falling and everything, and then today being the longest night, which is supposed to be, you know, their version of Christmas. Huh. But I'm guessing it's going to be snowing outside. All right, so, epilogue, stars. Okay, so this is actually the epilogue. Interesting. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. All right, oh, oh. Hey, granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. Interesting that it gave me two options. I'm gonna go in here just because it's the last day, and I think I have Flux on. Hold on, I gotta turn Flux off because it makes this game jittery. There we go. Nothing? Okay. Worth checking. Better basement that's not actually in the basement. So that tooth has gotta come in handy at some point, right? I didn't keep it for nothing. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. She's so nice. I should, like, reread some of these? I mean, I got time. And the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Sounds awfully Lovecraftian. And we just met, like, a god. An eldritch god, basically. Didn't we? Oh, yeah. Let's go with that one. Yep. Yep. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937. H.P. Lovecraft. There you guys go. There's our answers. This is Lovecraftian. Shapes from beyond the veil of space is a towering achievement. And marks the start of the weird gothic genre. Yep. Pulp fiction. And influence on much of the 20th and 21st century. Science fiction and pulp literature. It's Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft. Shapes are sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. So now that I know this was Lovecrafty, and this seems an awful lot like the color out of space, which a meteor, which wasn't really a meteor, it was an alien, crashes to Earth and poisons the local food supply, the animals and the water. And the townspeople, and this was like in New England, probably Massachusetts, I don't remember. Um, because Massachusetts is where all his stuff takes place, basically. He... They, the, the people go to the well and they drink that poisoned water and they go crazy and they start doing crazy things. So it's probably fair to say that was an inspiration for this game. Me, honey, is that you? Yeah? I'm back in the kitchen. Well, I mean, of course she is. If you want to talk. Well, of course I do. Hello, mom. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Um, why? It's been... I just... Uh, you're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, Mom. We need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? 
I... I'm so sorry, Mom. So, what's going on with you? Um, I've had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please, tell me. You working today? No, me and your father are both off today. Where's Dad at? Where's Dad? I didn't see him. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Yep, sure. Duh. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close. Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying, May. What did? The fall. <laughs> Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. Oh, I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Are you still reading that same book? Oh no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Hmm. Uh, I put up a poll. I don't know if it was the previous episode or the episode before that. But I'm recording this before that episode goes up, so I don't know the results of the poll. So I'm curious if you guys think the miners are the, the people in the ghost costumes. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring. Far away across the din. I hear the Lord a call their children. Bring it in, bring it in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call their children. Bring him in, bring him in. Tari with me for a moment. Tari or Terry? I think it's Tari. I don't know what that word means. I'm stupid. Talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven. Bring him in, bring him in. That's nice. It is. It is nice. May doesn't give a shit. Oh, I can walk. Oh, I can still talk to her. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Interesting that I can keep going in. Okay. Whatever. I don't see where Dad is, though. He's got the day off, but he's not here. Is it snowing? It's not snowing, but there's Dad. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. <laughs> he just wanted to. Every man's dream. He's, he's seen office space recently. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Ah, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff, but this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to at least. Is there anything I can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here? I got something for you. Got it out of the basement. <gasps> How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space? That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? Do you know what this tooth is? No? Really? You sure? Yeah, Granddad must have had it from the old days. Me, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Like they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. <laughs> May, sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. May, 
Yeah? You come down and pick it with us if we walk out? I'll breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. Aww. I got an achievement for that. So what are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? Well, we'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. <laughs> dum de dum dum Interesting. Okay. Well, you guys know the drill. We gotta check what's out to the east. Going to the edge of town. I suspect the, there'll be nothing, but who knows? Snow is not accumulating yet. It's just flurries. But I have a funny feeling that there is. this is not the last day. Because... It's, there you go. I kind of felt it. wonder if we'll ever be a big booming town again. Those guys last night were, like, deluded. But it'd be really nice if there was a god, I might ask. But I think they'd have to fight the other gods that bled this place nearly to death. Wow, that's not an American God's uh, reference, is it? I'm, like, proud of us all for having good-ass lives in a shitty, stupid, good-ass town. Here's to you, Possum Springs. Here's to survival. So these, this this feels like the last day, right? With the, the conversations with Mom and with Dad, the sign at the Possum Springs. That's something that you would feel like it would be the last day, but I, f I still feel like this ends on Longest Night. I don't know. But yeah, that whole gods fighting with the new gods, it kind of feels like an American Gods reference. Which which does fit this the theme of this game. Interesting. Okay. I feel ya. Uh, let's go up here. Get out of my way, squirrel. What was that? What? Hold on. Look at that shit. Oh wow, the Kareem's got a new dog. Hey, puffers! Aw, oh, seesaw me! I can see you from here! I will be watching, so beware! And be a good pup. I wonder how many times things popped up on there and I never got to see it. Alright, let's get down. Anything over here? No Aunt Molly? Okay. I think the music's different too, isn't it? Hey, May! Sup, Selmers? You okay? After the whole, like, head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need them. Nah, it's not a migraine. But those things make me have to pee. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh, right. Well, if I ever have a headache, or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. I wonder if we get one more lesson with the teacher. You know what? This guy is also like the janitor and germ, isn't he? I just, for whatever reason, it didn't register before. Look at, he's even got, that's germ's hat, isn't it? Just a larger version of it. Oh, what's up with these guys? Is Because it's not like I see a lot of people that look like Selmers or look like May, right? Everybody is kind of unique in their own way, except for janitor, um, this guy. I don't even know this guy's name. It may have given it to me. I probably just forgot. And Germ. Only there are like three generations. Like, Germ is a kid. This guy is, I don't know, probably 40 or so. The janitor is probably 60 or so. It's almost like three generations, isn't it? I wonder if, if if I'm if I'm seeing shit or if that's actually a thing. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Oh. Of course it is. Ooh, sorry. Did I land on that? Did I do that? What? What? Look who's up there. I'll be right there, Teach. Oh, look, he's got his acorn. Um, I have to get up higher. I 
don't know how many stars we have left. I guess two then, right? Hey, man. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Got any more Dusk stars we can look at? One more. <laughs> of course. Oh, she didn't complain about it. So what is the last one? Is it going to be the god that we found in the hole? I don't... I still don't know what's going on there. I'm not sure... I'm not sure if, if how Lovecrafty in this game is going to get. Is that is that book that we found on the shelf, is that just a, a simple reference, like the American Gods one? Or is it going to go... Spoilers um, for... Well, I can't say the name of the game. Is it going to go completely Ethan Carter on me, or what? Um, let us consult the guide. Okay, I don't think we've seen this guy before. The Fire Maker. The Fire Maker. A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. The star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all? Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like... Found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having r really happened. Because hearing it happened to you. That's nice. It's not bad. So there you go. There they are. I got an achievement for being a stargazer. So what now? Super moon is coming. Oh, what's that? A giant moon. Oh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It'll be late at night. There'll be others on their, on their roofs. You come, I will make hot, hot chocolate. What a time. Sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. I haven't looked at my book in a while, have I? Erskine. Erskine? He didn't tell me the name. How did I know it? Is there anything else in here that I missed? <laughs> Wait, what's going on there? Okay. Lori M. Horror movies and trains. Oh, that's right. Her name's Lori. I couldn't remember her name earlier. What the shit? Shapes. So those are the shapes she was talking about. And there's her in the... In that cosmic... I don't know. She was floating in that cosmic space. Bad art, no clues, chased by ghosts. Greg rules, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skull hole, little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. Yeah. Two stars, or pentagrams. They don't have the circles, those stars. Hella birds. <coughs> Ooh. Harvest. Halloween. Interesting, they use the word Halloween. So what is the difference between Halloween and Harvest? I thought I thought it was one and the same, but they have them both here. <laughs> I didn't see a lot of these. Alright, we saw all these. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, alright. Um... Please tell me there's something in the in the little pamphlet thing, which is outside, which should be getting destroyed by rain and snow, but is not. Oh, 
please give me something new. Nothing. Stupid Casey Hartley. He's dead. He shouldn't be here. He's dead. Last seen at dusk. On June 27th, walking westward along the tracks behind the former food donkey, who's was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt. Hmm. Interesting. Please contact the Possum Springs Police Department immediately. So if the ghosts are the ones who killed Casey, I would say that probably eliminates the police then. I don't know, but this is something they got to do anyways. I don't know. Grasping at straws, I know. I guess let's go down here. <gasps> Music. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin. It's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. Aww. That guy just wants some alone time and I don't give it to him. Nice. There's only two of them, though. I, I want to know where the other two are. I find that kind of weird. Hey, you guys! Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? You know what? There's another bird. There's another bird! Hmm. Of course, there's a, a cat over there, too. Um... But the cat does look a lot different than me. Were these birds? They kind of all look the same, don't they? Apparently. Life, man, it goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. I wish those two playing the music would shut the F up. Hey! Watch it! I'll kick your face in. Yeah, I was hoping I'd be able to find two more people for them to play together. Alright, so that's it then? Alright. Yeah, that's like the, the main... Um, Night in the Woods theme song, but played differently. Just Alright, so I guess it's church time. Although mom won't be there, the pastor should be. I want to know what happened with Bruce, too. Because I, I am unconvinced that he wasn't going home to his kids. That he was just saying that. I could be wrong. No pastor. Nada. Alright, well, maybe she's at the desk? Maybe she's not. So, am I gonna find absolutely nothing when I go to Bruce's? Or is the pastor, is that kaput? Is she gone? He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Yeah, see, this guy's got a... He's a bird. There's something up with the birds in this town. That's all I'm saying. There's something up with the birds. Got that jittery thing going on again. There she is. Oh, she took down his home. Hey. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. Now... I'd like to point out that the ghosts have a problem with immigrants and and bums, right? They have a, a problem with, with people coming into town and freeloading, right? And Bruce was that. And the city council was pretty against Bruce. And and she obviously just lost a vote. I think that's, that's, that's more evidence that the city council are the ghosts. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this 
empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... You tried. All we can do. And God will show up when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. Need some help cleaning the space up? Place? Space? Whatever? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh. I can't do it now, but... Uh, run along, May. I want to go in the shed. I want to see what's there. Nothing. So what was this this cliff for? I don't know. Interesting that the music stops when you go over there, right? Almost like there was something there. No changes. No changes. Let's see if we can actually get in the shed. That'd be cool. I figured this is the shed, but nope. Well, I guess she said behind the church, and this isn't really behind the church, is it? Is this the shed over here? Alright, that's it for uh, this episode. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.